Hi guys, today I am filming a slightly weird video and I have no idea how it is going to go. It could be a complete disaster. It basically involves using sponges and hair ties. This is something that I saw on Pinterest. It involves using these as rollers and then securing them in place with these. Should we just get going? Let's see how it works. The thing that I'm nervous about is these rough edges to the sponges. I can already see that they're coming off in the packet. I might even end up with green hair by the end of this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use this clip just to clip the top section of my hair up. So I'm just gonna take a bit here, I guess, and then use the sponge to kind of twist it, maybe? Is this looking okay? And then I'm gonna give it a squeeze and then use a hair tie just to keep it in place. I have a mirror over here, so this is what I am looking at. Ah, that hurt a little bit. Okay, first one in place. I'm not sure I'm gonna be making a habit of this. I might go with a yellow sponge this time. You know, I've got plenty of choice. Yellow, pink, and green. I mean, it's quite easy to do, to be honest. I think the hardest bit I'm finding so far, ah, is securing them in place. Oh. That one didn't go as well. Okay, so one side is in. Let's do this side now. Oh no, my phone's ringing. <sighs> one second. I feel like these are going to be really hard to get out. Oh, this one's come out. Found that you have to tie the hair tie around three times or they come out. So last sponge is in. Don't know what I'm thinking about this look. Oh, one's come out. Praying that the door does not go as this is not an attractive look. What I'm gonna do now, after I put this one back in, is apply some heat with my hairdryer and, oh, I don't know where to put hairspray in. I might put a tiny bit of hairspray in. Don't know how it's gonna go on the sponges, so I think I might just put a little bit in to set it in place. So I guess now we just wait. I'm going to wait a couple of hours. What time is it now? 12 o'clock. So probably at least till three o'clock and then I'll take them out and hopefully, fingers crossed, it works. I don't feel very secure when I move my head so I'm a little bit worried but I'll see you in three hours. It's three o'clock now so it's time to take my hair out of these kitchen sponges. During the last couple of hours, I've just been using the hair dry to apply a little bit of a heat so let's get going. I've got a bin down here ready to put the sponges in and I'm about to find out if I'm gonna be left with sponge in my hair. Ooh, it's actually gone a little bit curly. The curls are coming out nice, but there's a weird kink. I don't know if that's from the texture of the sponges, but I mean, it's worked quite well so far. One side is out. I think the hardest thing is trying to get them out because I like a hair grip where you just pull it. This one you have to unravel it and it gets your hair stuck in it a little bit. So this is what your hair looks like after you've taken your hair out in sponges. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna go out the house like this. It needs a little bit of styling, so I'm just gonna run my fingers through and see what I can make of it. So I have run my fingers through my hair and popped a little clip in inside, and I mean, it does look a little better. The only thing I'm not sure about is this bit at the side. It looks almost like I've used a crimper. It's all crimped, and I think that is from the top of the sponges, but I'm not 100%. So this is what my hair looks like when you use sponges instead of foam rollers. What I'm going to do quickly is just run the straighteners through this first bit, as I'm sure this hairstyle will be fine to go out the house, but just not sure about this bit so far. So I think now I would go out the house. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the little curls here and the bounce because as you know, I love big hair. So if you fancy giving it a go yourself, please tag me as I would love to see and I will see you next time.